your singles match and, and uh, gritting that out, getting that win, what was the key to, yeah, it was a tough match out there. Yeah, obviously, I think mm, we both played great tennis today and, um, you know, coming into this match, I know she must be playing really good because, you know, like already passed two rounds. So, yeah, I think she was defending good today and then she was serving good and um, for me it wasn't um, easy like you know to finish the point very fast so yeah and um, I kind of just kept telling myself you know one point another point and one point at each time so yeah I'm happy that I won in the end. In terms of um, making those adjustments and figuring out when to mm -hmm. press mm -hmm. and be aggressive and when to kind of maybe try to be a little bit more consistent. Yeah. Um, how how have you been able to find that balance over the course of your career? Because I know that you can play more aggressively if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, and you, when you were younger, it was probably a little bit more of that. But it seems like a much more well-rounded, balanced game now for you. Like you have more options. Yeah, yeah. It's a, <clears throat> I mean, it's a good thing to have more options. You know, <laughs> Like before I had only one option. <laughs> <laughs> but now, yeah, sometimes it's, um, you know, it's a learning process. You know, at the beginning, you have to make decisions, and not every time you make the right one. So, yeah, it's just learning from each time, from your own experiences. And I think matches like this really challenge, like, challenges you. Like, no matter you win or lose, you learn a lot from it. Yeah. And then um, if you, because I, I talked to Julin and, and Junction Wen about the... Um, kind of the evolution of, of, of Chinese tennis, mm -hmm. of just, you know, 20, 15, 20 years ago, it was a lot more north-south hitting, flat, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, baseline, hug it, like uh, Zheng Jie and all yeah, that. Yeah. And now we're seeing, as you said, one weapon is not enough. You, you need more. Can you talk about how you developed your game from kind of being a little bit more of that classic style, in, in my opinion, I don't know if you agree with me, back when you were younger, to kind of where it's on its path now because we're seeing more variety and spin with with all of you right now yeah i think um uh like also because um i have Sai Sai like helping me so she because she's really good at seeing you know this um adjustments like also on the court like from her own experience she can tell me when is you know the right time to press and when is the time to you know just to stay in the in the point so i think um uh you know like when somebody's telling you one time two times and then you start to learn and then they start to become like your thinking too like you know how to you know like um see when is the right moment yeah Thanks. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Congrats on a great day. Thank you. Well, my question is a little more big picture. I think it's your 10th main draw at a major in singles mm -hmm. and your first round of 16, which is amazing. Kind of fast, but I wonder for you, being a top junior and a player that probably has really high expectations and what you're capable of doing, mm -hmm. did it happen fast for you or maybe a little slow? Well, I would say... Um I would like to share some of my feelings. I mean, last year has really been challenging for me. You know, I um, it's been a long year, and um, actually a lot of, you know, I found out in the end, um, like what coaches are telling you sometimes um, is not always right. It's not 100% right. You need to listen more to how you feel. Because if he's telling you, okay, you need to string your racket 10 pounds tighter, or he's telling you, oh, your racket balance is not right. And then he wants to change. And of course, you as a young player, not so, with not so much experience, you follow, no? Yeah. Because with the big names or you know, whatever. So you, you try to follow because he say, if you wanna, want me to coach you, you need to believe me. So that's what I did. And then my body started to hurt, you know, because I'm playing with the racket, like heavy, like stone. <laughs> and then, you know, everything started to hurt. And then I start to think, oh, it's like, am I doing something wrong? So yeah, everything becomes, you know, emotionally. And then you think it's your fault, but actually it's not. So 
Yeah, just I'm sharing this because I want more players like me, you know, like young players who's coming from the juniors to know like what you feel is the, the most important thing, not what other is telling you. Like you need to do this, this, this. I'm, you know, I know better than you. Is like educating you, but actually, yeah. Yeah. So it took uh, it took some time for you to yeah. come to this realization. Mm -hmm. Did you have help, or did you come to it all by yourself? This this thinking that you're sharing. Yeah, I think it has to be yourself. Like you have to realize, because when you are going through this, even if somebody's like by your side telling you, okay, what they're saying is maybe not right. You need to think, but if you don't realize then you just keep doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Thank so how you. Is, sorry, if no, I can that yet, yeah, but just in terms of now working with Sai Sai and everything, I mean, how how helpful is that? How do you, and how, how do you know when to trust and when to say, no, I don't think that that seems right? Like, as a player, how do you balance that? Well, I think um, it just from the experience I had. So now I'm able to tell, you know, like when is the time that I stand, stand out and I say how I feel. I think that's always most Im most important thing. Also, like you have um, good coaches like helping me now. And yeah, I'm really happy I get the good people around me now. So yeah, their um, ideas, their like what they're telling me is very good, so sometimes I also listen to their advices. Do you of talk course. Back? Also, uh, do you feel um, comfortable enough mm -hmm. to where it's a conversation? Yeah, with yeah. And your coach, so it's not just one way. Yeah, I think that's the uh, the important thing. It's like a conversation. It's not like, you know, like yeah. yes, it's yes, yes, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and if you feel you don't understand, then you ask. Yeah. Like before, I didn't know how to do this, but I guess like over the you know the time, the experience, yeah, I learned that. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about the the way you're playing this year? Would you say that it's uh, it seems very solid across the I mean, I watched you at Indian Wells with a couple big wins. It seems like the results are coming more regularly. Do you do you just generally have a lot more confidence in what you're doing out there, and maybe more comfort being on tour, competing against better players? Yeah, I think this year I can be more focused on just tennis, you know, like no more of these other things around me. So, yeah, it feels more relaxed and also, um, yeah, like you said, with uh, more matches coming and then being more uh, familiar with these high-level players, yeah. And uh, just another question that I'm, I'm sure you've talked about this before, but I haven't spoken with you about it, the, the challenges of being Chinese and during the pandemic and maybe not being able to go home when you wanted to, how much would you say that affected you and, and how much have you been able to be home and be comfortable being home in the last few years? Or has it been an extra difficult challenge compared to the other players that aren't from China? Yeah, I haven't been home much. <laughs> maybe like a couple of weeks in like all this two years. Two years. Yeah, yeah, that's really... Um, strange for me because you know like before we have the china season we have the asia season yeah. and also you know like after a while after you compete you go back home rest a little bit and at the beginning it was tough because you need to find a place to train to whatever but you're still traveling yeah but then it gets like you get you got used to it so it's a little bit easier yeah of a home away from home, a place that you go to relax that isn't Shenzhen, so you are somewhere else? Not train. really. I've been really. just a little bit like everywhere. <laughs> On the road. Yeah. Forever. Mm -hmm. My last question, um, I was wondering, you seem to like New York City a lot. Yeah, I but like New York, yes. Is it compared to Shenzhen at all? Is it similar? Way different? It's kind of similar, you know, like the um, city, like all tall buildings, mm -hmm. everything like new. And then always, you know, 24 hours is <laughs> it's yeah. like lights on and everything. Yeah, but mm, still different. <laughs> yeah, home is home. Yeah. <laughs> you started the doubles well, obviously, with the chase with the that you guys got to win today, the yeah. tough one. Yeah. Uh, How did you guys turn that match around? It seemed like... We are Anthony. always dumb. Yeah, I know. All the time. It's just dramatic. Yeah. All the time with okay. you two. But what was the key? 
Um, I mean, they're playing really good, and also I think we're a little bit like relaxed, you know, having fun. And at the beginning, maybe a little bit too much, <laughs> but yeah, it's. I mean, we just, um, yeah, we made some adjustments, and then. Yeah, we, me and Sue, you know, as always, we we believe that if we we can always come back. So yeah, I'm happy. It continues. Yeah. yeah. You know, just like <clears throat> they have to the set, and yeah. here they come back. Um, and then just in terms of your comfort, you know, you're ta you're telling Chris about um, you know, having to basically live out of a suitcase for the last uh, mm -hmm. two years and everything, everything that was going on with with your previous coach and stuff like that in terms of the the tension. Like, do you feel like, I mean, you are older now. You're still young, very mm -hmm. young. But do you feel so much more comfortable with yourself having to kind of, you've had to grow up a lot, I would mm -hmm. think, yeah. in the last couple of years um, yeah. and find yourself. Is that is that accurate? Is that how you feel? Yeah, I, I think that's how I feel. Like, um, I have to make more, like, my own decisions. And then I think that it kind of helped me grow up a lot, yeah. Biggest difference, <clears throat> do you think, between the 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 Wang Xinyu now and the Wang Xinyu like 2019, 2020? Um, I think now I ask more questions. <laughs> yeah, and also it's not all the time. Every time there's maybe my fault. Like I didn't do this thing good, or maybe somebody somebody else's like didn't 